Hello Spaceman Nick here with another video and today I'm going to be showing you how to install a lapis point map for Minecraft. First what you're going to want to do, the, the easiest way I see to go is to go to your is to go to your um, search engine and then just type in lapis point. So you, it should be the first one to come up that it says this lapis point modern city ECS you should go to this page then um, uh, you click the download minecraft world save take you to this horrible clickbait page because who doesn't hate clickbait thank goodness it's broken Should take you to this media fire page. You'll click the download button, media fire ad will pop up. Then you click save. And just keep in mind in this case I'm using Microsoft Edge. Say save, that means. Okay, this is different. Please stop. Alright, anyway, so it should download. Then what what'll happen? As, um, not that, that's the texture package, I get that in a minute. I think, sorry, it's been forever since I've gotten this. Yeah. This will take a second. Lapis point map, there you go. Then, make sure it, make sure you double, when you double click on that, it says this. Then what you're going to want to do is load up your version of Minecraft. And make sure you have the right profile that you want to use. Um, just checking this real quick. Making sure everything's working. Alright, good. And give it a second, Minecraft will load up. And as far as I know, this works on any um, version. I the, the earliest I've gone back to is um 1.7.10. And um, just while we're at it, I'm gonna say that uh, um if I ever, ever forget to put credits, just remember that this map is not mine. Download it, and you can too, hence why I'm showing you this, all completely legally. Now that weird pirating movie clap. So anyway, you go to resource packs, um, open resource pack folder, then you click the dot minecraft, go to saves, then what you're going to want to do is, is copy this, over to here. Wait for that to happen. If it wants to. I don't know. Everything happens in its own time here. Except it only appears to. Oh, in the meantime, you can exit out of Minecraft. You're not. Yeah, it open. Okay, since this clearly doesn't want to work, um, I already have a version of Lapis Point installed on here, several versions. I'm just going to duplicate this right here. I'm like still canceling. It's been doing all kind of weird stuff like that. Same with the new headphones, keeps messing with my head, it's weird. Wait, then for sake of this, we're just gonna rename it, um, Lapis Point Tutorial. Uh, anyway, I'm not sure if. So, you got that, now we're gonna load up Minecraft again.
Give it a second. As far as I know, this only works in the original PC version, not like Windows 10, the uh, different Windows 10 version. Uh, no, not Minecraft Wilms. Single player. Um, probably gonna be buried down here, somewhere. You're gonna want to look for one that says. Where the heck is it? both the same because I copied the public version that I am um, used for everybody here and uh, I'm just gonna pick this one you're on it's gonna it, yours when you install it will just say normally valley and you'll probably only have one then we wait a sec oh Oh yeah, that's right. This is um different because it, people have been using it before. Well, on my bad, having some difficulties. Where are we? So sorry about this. Give me a second. I gotta fly over here. Don't worry, it'll look a lot better once we get the texture pack installed. Like, the pink road signs will actually be green. It's different playing, vanilla, playing on vanilla version of Minecraft. Usually I have Journey Map up here in the corner where I... Up here in the corner where I can just, uh... Oh, the video might be a bit jumpy because I'm using monitor capture and Minecraft is in full screen. Anyway, normally what will happen is you'll spawn up here on top in survival mode. So then what you're going to want to do is just forward slash, just type, just open up your chat bar, type forward slash game mode one. No, oh, you're in creative mode. Yay. Mm hmm So now, if it's still working, there we go. Down here there will be a link, which you actually have to copy and paste because for some reason it's broken. And then... Just copy and paste that into here. I think. I don't know, I may have to search this. Yeah, I'm searching that. Anyway. Sorry. For some reason the link doesn't want to work. This video is riddled with technical difficulties. What I have is point text texture pack I'm guessing I have to map it this is it Minecraft resource packs blah, blah, blah. yep this is it oh this is the same link I got it from before we'll say 1.7 and 1.6 but it does work for um ever oh that's not a button but it does work for um, every version, just um, because the new blocks added in 1.8 plus, not all of the blocks will have different textures. I hope it wants to download this time. Look, it does. But this is going to take forever, and I'm trying to keep this video short because for some reason it takes forever to upload. Yes, we can actually close out of here now. Anyway. This time you're gonna want, dang it. I need to keep my graph down. And anyway, so you'll load up Minecraft again.
just wait a moment and um no. now you go back to options resource packs this time you open resource pack folder so you have that then you're going to want to create a new folder which I did here and named it LP pack then you're going to want to open downloads in a new window of course click the zip file that says x 64x lapis point version 2.0 you're going to want to click extract all then you're going to, of course you'll Sorry, I think this is a bit more complex than what I use, but anyway, you're going to copy that. Select the folder you just created. You click select folder, you would click extract. Then the files would extract here. And just make sure that they did. Then in order for it to make it work, it will say incompatible if you're using one, a version more than 1.8. It hasn't broken my game yet. Yet. If you're giving it the, when I'm actually in the Minecraft game gets jumpy because when you use monitor capture on OBS and um, then use it to capture Minecraft without you without capturing just Minecraft itself, then it gets all jumpy. Because that's what a lot of my earlier videos were, like the um, second uh, New City Land updates would be the best example. Alright, it's going to lag a bit because, you know, it's generating everything with new textures. And that's about it, really. <laughs> so yeah, like, what you'll see with like um, the new stuff added, this is 1.11 I'm using, so the doors added in 1.8 don't have textures. For some reason, the fence gates do. Um, uh, the different colored boats don't have any. Same with the Elytra. It actually procedurally generates the spawn eggs, so any spawn eggs like from Maz you get will still look like this with the right colors. I thought horse armor was added before then, but it, who really cares? Um, We run back over here to the highway I was looking at real quick. I have a printed map right here that says Lapis Freeway. Yeah, it goes all the way over. Basically, like, this is actually the main connecting hub of the city. Look, there's Canada. Say hi. You'll see that the pink signs are now green because you need the right shade of green. Anyway, so until next time, so until next time, I'm Spaceman Nick.